I've been assassin. I write the way you swing a trend, you think you rock I write the tank, hawk stuff, sound like you're fine. I write our team with my. Hey, what's up, my loungies? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly less chat. Disclaimer, I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only. Okay. This platform also consists of celebrity drama, rumors, opinions, roasting, tea, some shade, some sensitive topics. So if you are sensitive to people's opinions, this will not be the platform for you. Now in this segment, we're going to do a little continuance of Johnny Blaze, um, Ghetto Barbie, Big Boogie, and Faith. Okay, a friend of Ghetto Barbie is exposing some things. Catch up on the mess. Okay, how it all started with Barbie and Johnny Blaze. Okay, they pulled up. They was about to tussle. They exposing nudes and they exposing this and they exposing the celebrities who slept with what and all type of stuff. So please make sure to go check out this video. Make sure to spam it up. Okay, let's get into it. This is Faith, an ex-friend of Ghetto Barbie. Yes, the girls are all falling out, okay? So we're going to get into what she has to say about Ghetto Barbie, okay? And also touch a little bit on why Ghetto Barbie and Johnny Blaze are no longer cool or besties. So when Johnny Blaze put out the flowers that uh, Barbie sent her saying, sorry, Faith said this is so crazy because she was literally talking about both of us to each other. Never betrayed this girl and was always loyal to her. And for you to do all of this because I didn't want to stay in Aruba for her birthday? Nah, it's more than that. You always had hate in your heart. You been a snake. I shouldn't have trusted you. After you did me dirty the first time in 2017 and then apologized because so many people warned me. Okay, so let's get into some more. I ain't never had no beef with nobody, not Barbie or Johnny Blaze. We was all cool. This girl is really and honestly mentally ill and clout is such a dangerous drug also. Okay, like you did all of this for what? We've been back from Aruba three weeks ago. You claim you beat my butt? You blocked me from your page but still following my page from a fake page? And then the very next day after I went to Johnny's party... You started hanging out with a chick that you talk so much shit about. You say you didn't like that I used to be cool with. And the whole time y'all doing all the days I'm out of town hanging with my man, not caring about what y'all got going on. She called defects on me. It didn't work. So you and your cousin, who you was literally dogging out to me about how she on Section 8 and don't have nothing, her or her mama, and so much more, called herself messing my mobile salon up because I guess you're mad that I said I have too much to lose. And females who sell Pudusi don't have anything to lose. But like you told Johnny yesterday, you didn't lie. You told the truth. So why are you mad? Because I told the truth. But I've been quiet long enough. I promise shit gonna change major. Did you real soon? Now right here, Faith is showing some pictures of her mobile salon. You beat me up over a month ago, so you say. You call defects to my daughter's school. I have stayed quiet the whole time until you call yourself damaging my property yesterday. So you mean to tell me... It was okay for her to call defects on you and everything else and do everything else regarding your child and didn't expose her. But her messing up your mobile salon was the draw? See, I've been quiet for a long time because I was advised to be quiet. But I'm really tired of this. Like, you sit up here flexing on Instagram for clout, girl. Like, let's be real. You have to Amazon flex every day. To pay your bills. You steal their shit and take it to your house. Let's talk about that. You steal Amazon flex shit and take it to your house every day. When you hungry and when your son hungry, you go and you start door dashing. No, Uber Eats, my bad. You start Uber Eatsing and you take their food and you eat their food up. Both of them cars that you have right now, let's be real, let's tell everybody the truth. Both of those cars that you have right now, they're both in repossession stages. Why are you hiding them in a garage? I have text message of that too. 
This is so sad how once upon a time these grown ass females was besties and cool that they thought they could confide in each other to tell each other the deepest secrets and their struggles and everything else. And then when you fall out, they do all the childish exposing thinking that's doing something. Well, all reality just makes you look like a dumbass. Y'all gotta grow up out here. If you fall out of friendships or family or whatever, just keep it moving respectfully. You don't gotta drag it out. Yeah, that's gonna, that was gonna pull up, and when you gonna go outside, and your car is gonna be gone. The the Camaro Challenger, whatever that you got, your mama just gave it to you for your son because she said, yeah, your mama gave you that car, that Camaro Challenger, whatever the f it is, because she said this is for your son. Okay, so stop sitting up here flexing on Instagram like you just got it. You got it. You know why? Because you didn't have to pay your rent for what six months or a year, or whatever, because you you fraud the government and didn't pay your and, and didn't pay your rent. The only reason you got that house. It's because you fake the, your IRS um W twos or whatever the f or your income tax return. You fake that shit to get a house, and now you owe the IRS. Stop playing with me because I've been. We also gotta normalize that life is a struggle. Period. Okay. Um, I guess struggles now are like jabs and a, an exposed moment. But let's not forget a lot of these people that's online that's flaunting all this jewelry and stacks of money and everything else. There's always something behind it. Y'all think everybody on the internet is always doing things the legal way? I don't think so. Life is hard out here. A lot of people is just getting by. Okay? So people are doing whatever they can, even, you know, scamming the government. You know? No, it's not right. But the world that we live in, I guess it is what it is. Girl, you sit up here talking about somebody said something about Johnny. Anything I ever said about Johnny is what you told me. I was co-signing because I'm your friend, okay? I never said anything bad about Johnny because I didn't know Johnny or to say anything bad about Johnny. You was talking about her. You told all her business. You went through her phone. You called me talking about some girl. I went through Johnny's phone and she left her phone here and she left her phone here and I went through her phone and girl, I seen all these she been texting and this and that. You still here trying to call Johnny. I all these celebrities too you did you went back you went behind johnny back and fucked them celebrities like little baby you told me that your mouth sean kingston all them people you did it and you talking about what girl you it was to the point where the other day we went out and give me his number and told me he was trying to fuck me and you begged me to give you the number and the very next day was sunday and monday you was over there that okay you was over there him the next day and then the very next week the ignored you the rest of the week the whole week he ignored you then the following monday before we went to aruba you went back over there you went back over there and him again you went back over there and him again and this time oh i got it raw dog i got it raw. you him raw the next time okay so in all reality they all probably selling cootie cat they going after one each other's men or whatever tricks or whatever y'all want to call them Okay, but why y'all be so worried about somebody else? Put Dilsey. I don't get it. Who cares what celebrity she had SEX with? Who cares? Like, I just don't get it. Is this supposed to be like a proud moment or something to say who slept with who? And then exposing these things. Oh, she wanted to talk to the person. I, all right, and you still was cool with her. So stop, please. Don't you sit up here flexing for Instagram like you just, you just, just, no. I know the radio because you done told me all your business. So please stop because I've been quiet. I ain't been saying shit for a long time. I ain't been saying nothing. So please stop it. Then how you block somebody, but then you watching their page from a fake page. You block my page and you block Johnny page. But then you watching our page from a fake page. Like make it make sense. Unblock, unblock, unblock us and, and follow us. Since you want, but you want to block people that follow from a fake page to talk shit. Girl, I ain't stunned you. I wasn't watching your page. I wasn't doing none of that shit. When you was doing all the shit you was doing, I was out of town with my man. So, you doing all this for what? You blocked this. Why you still trolling? Why you still on our page? Why you still doing all that? Why you so mad, though? That's the thing. Why are you so mad? Please explain to me why you so mad. Why? Explain to me why you so mad. I don't even get it. Part, we, we no longer friends. Just go your way and I go mine. What's the big deal? Why are you so mad? I have not done anything to you at all. You you beat my ass. Okay, well, cool. If you beat my ass, you got your one. Why are you so And you keep talking about everybody broke, nobody has money. You keep posting the same stack. 
Of course, if my mortgage is thirty five hundred and I ain't have to put paid in six months to a year because I I've been <laughs> the government been paying it because I fake and act like I I needed some money on, on my mortgage payment or whatever. Of course, I have a stack of money too. Of course, I would. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like. If you got something to say, you want to go online and go back and forth and stuff. Why you block the person and then continue to still talk shit? Like that's so weak to me. Like, you can't stand on your ten toes and handle what the hell got to be said to you. Like, I just don't get that. Like, that is something that is so annoying, okay? Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. They're no longer friends. They're Everybody's coming out on the internet exposing people's deeper secrets, the people that you thought you could confide in. I feel like that's some weak-ass behavior, okay? I just feel like that's some fake-ass shit. So, Ghetto Barbie, okay, they're still going back and forth. She is exposing Faith's dirty apartment, allegedly. Okay, like that's what I said. This is sick in itself. So let's get into it. So the pictures was posted. And Faith, you 39. Why your house dirty as freak like this? Just like your BV cooch. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, and Faith, oh, they're showing the bathroom. This is the same caption, but she's just showing pictures. And then she's showing the refrigerator. Okay, um, yeah, just corny. Um, somebody said, you need the pictures? Yes, they sent the pictures. And I didn't take the pictures, left my butt off. They were sent to me by her roommate, Clock That T. So now you are living with a snake. This is pathetic. So remember when a ghetto Barbie said that Johnny's um, manager called her to try to do a boxing match so they could get some money? Here she go, I guess, showing the proof. So your manager didn't call me? All right, right here. I can't control what the F she do. I get it. I'm not mad at you. I didn't know if I was like that. I thought she told you, like, oh, I forgot and all the bands going or something. That's why I said still come because we won't be here long and you trying to go off. Um, Now I'm never answering the phone for her. How when she called me because you ain't answering when we out. I'm going to be like freak her just like you because I see how the F she move. Laughing my butt off, she was just on a time schedule. It's a different than the club friend. You got to be on time to make it in for real. So I guess this is when Faith was talking about Johnny. I'm going to be like freak her just like you. So I guess that's what Ghetto Barbie is trying to put out that Faith was talking about Johnny. Right here, this is your friend talking about uh, not another guy. So, Faith is saying, it. oh, now she posted another one. Ain't no freaking way. Laugh my butt off. Good. So, they basically talking about Johnny and the men she posted or dealing with. You see my phone in the car? Yes, you left it on the seat. Damn. Then she sent the number. That is my code. Can you send Natalie um, none number and Dridri number, please? What's the code? That's too many numbers. Then she sent it again. Damn, that's my social. Laugh out loud. Ha 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 ha. I'm crying. Laugh out loud. And then a screenshot of Natalie Nunn's number. Not the social. That's crazy. And Faith, why your old washed up ass over there talking with that big ass and them little ass bitch? You know, cock eyed ass bitch. Started shit. 39 years old. I'm 32. Go find you something to supposed to be at work taking the bags off the plane and putting them in the cart so they can go to the baggage claim why you ain't at work what's blowing me is that you even on here talking shit. i done already whooped you i done whooped you two times i done whooped you so bad i said well, you want another round and you pulled out your phone trying to call the police yeah on your ass on your ass like some two little clubs and johnny you thank faith your mother friend when i was talking about your mother ass she was right there with me Listen here, listen here. All y'all itches is fake, okay? Oh, you fall out, you go start teaming up with the enemy, talking smack and exposing them. Like, y'all all is in the same pattern. Like, none of y'all are winning in this. Y'all all look dumb as hell. Y'all just showing y'all true colors, fake, 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 and fake. Now, I understand if somebody coming out out the blue and just start exposing you and stuff like that and try to, you know, demolish your image and you have to come back and play that same game because you're not going to get away with that. You're not going to expose me and think I'm not going to expose you. That's just not what's going to happen. Or you could just go the other route and if people is exposed to things, you could just take it to court, sue their ass. And just to set the mother record straight, just to set the mother record straight, everything I'm posting was sent to me in a text message. 
you talking about? I went through your phone. I left your phone in my car because you always catching a ride with me because you don't have no car. And you told me to unlock your phone and get Nally Nunn number out so you can go beg her to be on baddies after you turned her down because you wanted more money than you was worth. And I seen all the text messages. I seen all them. I seen them. I seen you text all them to go through all the mother to get to the mother are you texting them and them not responding? Oh, and one more thing. You sitting up here talking all this shit about Johnny, what Johnny used to do about drugs. No, 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 Miss Miss. You can't talk about nobody being on drugs. Nobody. You cannot talk about nobody. Maybe you should go do a drug test and let's see if you're going to pass it with everything. Miss Trums. Trums. Miss Trums. You smoke cigarettes. Miss, Miss, Miss Kokiana. You can't talk about nobody. None. Since you talking about Johnny, let's put it out there because I done seen you with my own two eyes. So <laughs> let's not let's not go there. This shit be at your house, okay? Don't don't sit up here. You're not selling it, and and that's what she was doing. You was using it, okay? So Gato Barbie is admitting that she went and looked through um Johnny's phone. That was weird behavior. Because why are you looking at her text messages? Why are you worrying about who te what man she texting or what guy she's dealing with? Like, you don't mess with a bunch of guys. Like, y'all can't keep doing this. Y'all want to bring each other down. Y'all doing the same shit. Y'all doing the same things. Y'all doing the same men. Y'all walking the same path. Y'all doing the same online shit. Like, just get it off. And then y'all talking about some who's doing what drugs. and this. Listen, y'all probably all did it together. Let's just cut it out now. All y'all drug addicts. All y'all sell coochie. All y'all got some type of issues going on. And it's... Y'all all the same. None of y'all is real. None of y'all friends. Now, Johnny Blaze and Drake, I guess, had a little thing or whatever they had going on. So we're going to get into this audio of Drake. Okay, I guess Johnny Blaze sent it or whatever to Ghetto Barbie. Ghetto Barbie is exposing it. And yes, some celebrities are being mentioned. All right. Clarity, because I really don't feel good in my heart watching you text me and then like knowing that I'm seeing it sometimes, not all the time, I mean, but sometimes I'm seeing it and I'm like, damn, I don't know what to say to her. Like, cause I just don't know where to start again, really with this situation. Like, I really don't, I don't know where to start. I, I don't, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be honest. I wouldn't be being honest with you if I didn't say that like, Oh, if I told you, yo, let's go for dinner or I'm at the post, oh, come kick it, da, 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 that I wouldn't be nervous. I just, I'm just nervous. And I, I'm not saying it to make you feel bad. It's just kind of a result of, of your actions, you know, in the, in the past, no matter how long ago it was, it just makes me nervous. I just don't know what, what, what's going to happen to me as a result of like getting close to you again. Um, so yeah i hope you can take this as like me want to this is something i just want to i just want to be kind enough to tell you like if you just kind of want if you want to take that moment that we had and just be like oh i brought peace and resolution to a situation that was bothering me i have no ill feelings towards you so it sounds like they did have something um maybe johnny blaze was doing a little bit too much because i did see um old texas old text messages from back in the days where Johnny seems a little bit too clingy and obsessive. Um, so maybe that is the energy and actions that Drake don't want around him. Somebody that probably can expose him or do all the antics because they're mad or they're not getting that same attention from him. So I understand he tried to peacefully bow out. <laughs> okay. So this is what I guess ghetto Barbie had to put out and say, ha ha, they don't want you big boogie. Remember Big Boogie and um, Johnny Blaze sent that audio message to Ghetto talking about some, oh, Big Boogie eggplant stink and he was trying to hit me raw and everything else. But guess what? Once that went around, Big Boogie had something to say. He did. So we're going to get into this video. Let's get into it. Man, look. Man, y'all leave me at y'all kitty cat fights, dog. Leave Big Boogie name out of y'all shit, man. Leave my name out this shit, bro. What's wrong with y'all, man? Like, like, man, y'all leave me out. Like, hey, bro, pick another rapper, man. What the f? Y'all wanna bother me? Hey, bro, all publicity, good publicity, but I don't play that type of shit. like. 
No, nah, cause they did me a good, baby. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Leave me up this shit, bro. Like these blogs. Y'all got my name in so much shit, man. Y'all don't leave me the fuck alone, dog. Like. I don't give a fuck about y'all publicity, man. Y'all better leave me the fuck alone, man. Please, bro. Like, please, dog. First of all, Big Boogie, you cannot be upset at us bloggers for posting what is already online. We just the messengers, okay? Keep that energy for them that's trying to expose you saying that your eggplants thing. But according to Big Boogie, he said he smell like flowers. So he like, I don't know what the hell y'all got going on. And why, why y'all bringing me into this, okay? He calling a cat, okay? He acting like he don't even know the girl, this and this and that. Like, as if nothing ever happened, okay? But let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you think that Ghetto Barbie, Faith, or Johnny, any of them are good friends and loyal and, yeah, all that other stuff? Or do you think that they're sa they're all in the same category because they're doing all the same things? Like, I feel like if you're saying certain things out of spite or trying to, oh, cock-eyed and stuff, yeah, but that was the same cock-eyed girl that she was friends with telling all your business. Oh, your cooch stink and all oh, this guy. Yeah, but she was right there in my face with all of this being fake. So this whole time you felt this whole type of way? Like, I just felt like, uh, we understand that you might feel some type of way about certain things and conversations can be had. But sometimes after a while, people are tired of talking. So maybe that is a situation here. Maybe they had a little bit of uh, ups and downs or whatever. They talked it out. And then it's always something after that. So, yes, I don't blame nobody for, like, cutting communication. Everybody say communication is key. But guess what? Sometimes communication is annoying. It's very... It's like I'm it's like you get tired after a while, okay? Because nobody want to keep sitting there explaining themselves, bringing up how they feel and all this other stuff when it just be disregarded and you're going to do whatever you want to do anyway. So sometimes it is pointless to communicate with certain people. Sometimes you just got to bow out peacefully, silence, just go, okay? Hopefully none of these ladies get into any physical altercations where somebody's either physically like hurt um or unalived okay because you heard them talking about some bang bang they was talking about weapons and blowing heads off what type of stuff so but that's gonna be on them and if they do that we will be talking about it oh well but anyway please make sure to like comment subscribe and share on this video let's run it up my loungies y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do but i love y'all and make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video i love y'all to the day I brought a G wagon, that shit was a rabbit, that's why I be racing. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for four. Yeah, we brought the four door.